over on the east coast this week and I was fishing at Dunbar just off the entrance to the harbour. It was a beautiful day. It started off a bit frosty, but it warmed up in the afternoon. That's the, the ruins of the old castle there. There's not much left. I parked at the top of the hill here and it's a, a bit of a walk right round the, the full length of the harbour to get to the corner that I fished from. Especially carrying a heavily weighted lobster pot. This is the area right behind the harbour and uh, you can fish off the back here too. This is what it looks like at low water so you can see a lot more exposed rock. A lot of people stand on the wall further along there and fish off the back. There was two guys fishing there today. I spoke to them as I left and they'd so far caught one cold fish between them. I think they'd only been there about an hour though. I fished along at this end of the harbour, just as it opens up. It's a more comfortable spot on a windy day and although it's sunny, it was actually really, really cold. I was so happy when the sun finally got above the castle ruins and I got a bit of sunshine to keep me warm. I had my lobster pot with me again and I pull it up at the end of the session. I had quite high hopes because uh, the last time I was fishing here I actually caught a lobster on, on the rod and line. Something that I thought would probably never happen again. I'll show some pictures of that lobster later on in the video and also do a, a recap of everything caught at the end of the video. I uh, only caught a couple of fish and it, it wasn't really the, the best days fishing ever but the surprise catch really really made up for it. It was it was great to have. I was getting plenty of plenty of bites all day but I think it might have just been smaller fish that were uh, too small to take the hook. This bite that I got right at the start was fairly strange and I didn't manage to hook anything this time but looking back I now think I know what it might have been. There's a seal out there again. It was nice to see all the, the birds leaving the harbour like that. Because I was getting little bites on my, my heavier rods, I set up my little lightweight rod just to, to target the little fish. First fish of the day. It's always great to land the first fish of the day, even if it is really small. These wee things are usually always about here, and there's always the chance that the bigger fish will be here too. I had the two bigger rods fishing a bit further out, but I was just dropping this in right at the edge. There's a wee place further down the coast called Cove Harbour, and I caught a sea scorpion doing just this. It's such a cool fish, so that's what I was really hoping for. Another monster. Oh. There was a guy who was curious about what was catching. So I told him I'd had a, a couple of little fish, but the last time I was here, I caught a cracking lobster. And I was saying how lucky I was to, to actually hook it. 
So we chatted about that and I told them that I had my lobster pot with me. So there was a chance I might get another one. What happens next is really unbelievable. As soon as that guy left, I was getting weird bites on the, the rod again. But unfortunately, I didn't realise I was already recording here. And as soon as I realised what I've got on the hook, I go to hit record and pause the video again. As soon as I got it in, I put it somewhere safe and ran up to see if that guy was still there to show him. But unfortunately, he'd already left. As I was running over, I went to hit pause, and that's when I realised that I hadn't been recording. It would have been nice to be able to show the guy the lobster, because uh, I don't actually think he believed me about catching one the, the last time I was here. The lobster was uh, a bit too small to take home, but... Uh, it still made my day to catch it. The the fishing wasn't really, really great, and uh, it was such an amazing catch. I love going fishing and catching something that you're not expecting, whether it's a monster fish or just a species you weren't expecting. Surprise catches are one of my favourite things. And after catching one of these the last time I was here, I was really surprised to do it again. Right. Don't see that every day. It's big enough. Nah. This guy seen me running round the corner looking for the, the guy I was speaking to before. So I was just explaining why I was running about like a bad man. And then told them how I, I was telling the guy before that I caught a lobster the last time I was here. And it's crazy that it's happened twice in a row. Such a cool animal. The one I caught last year was twice the size of this. I'll, uh, I'll put up some pictures of it now. That one didn't get released. So from the best part of the day to the worst, those idiots in their own boat there went out. They were out about a minute, got hit by one big wave and came back in. And while I was baiting up the other rod, they went straight through my line, which they knew was there, and then refused to stop to, to try and unhoop it. They just kept going. So I had to run after them. Eventually, one of them cut the line but, I mean, there was like three or four fishing boats in and out there, about 20 kayakers. They all got by with no issue. They came out the first time. My line hadn't moved, they knew where it was. And for whatever reason, they just decided to go straight through it and then refused to stop. I don't know if they've had bad interactions here with fishermen before, but bang out of order. I kept getting bites on the heavier rods all day, but never managed to, to hook into a fish. I was just hoping that a bigger fish was going to come along and pick up the baits before the little fish stripped the hook every time. But that's fishing sometimes, and at least I was getting bites to, to keep my interest going all day. And the lobster's been my, my favourite catch for ages. So it was a, a great day out really, I've seen plenty of wildlife and uh, managed to catch some interesting stuff and it was as nice a day as you could hope for at this time of year. I've still got the, the lobster pot to pull up. Hopes are quite high for this now after catching a lobster on the hook.
one little crab. Well, one decent sized crab, but not what I was hoping for. Red eyes on him. I think that's a velvet swimming crab. Welcome back. Just that one rod to bring in then, and that's me away. Just walking back round to the car now, enjoying the last of the sun. I think the next time I come down to Dunbar, I might try the beach. It's meant to be pretty good for, for flounders. There's a, a big estuary at the, the far end. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you again soon.